Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077, episode 55 of my sixth playthrough. Let that go. They're law enforcement. You don't want to. You don't want to get arrested. Or, uh, mess with the police. But, then don't be a criminal. All right. Yeah, we know about Pacifica. Yeah, we're gonna go clean up Pacifica. All right. This is some extra, um, playing some, I've played the entire game, uh, my sixth playthrough as playing as corporate. I completed all the gigs, all the hustles, all the side quests, all the main quests, and we went and we finished the, the main story quest, and we're going to play some more. It's, uh, the first uh, day of uh, 2022, let's start it off with uh, going into Night City and cleaning up uh, the city because they're spawning all over, the criminals are spawning all over the place. Let's go kill some scumbags. Let's do this. All right. So for this playthrough, for this Rex, this playthrough, um, it took me. This is uh, it took me about 110 hours to uh, go through all the game. But um, in this playthrough, I didn't um, engage in a lot of like uh, gang combat, and, and I just went from mission to mission basically. But I didn't do a lot of exploring, and I also. Um, Wanted to play the game some more, but I want to wait for my seventh playthrough till they update it. So we're going to um, engage in uh, gang combat, uh, and we're gonna uh, craft. We're gonna craft a uh, the uh, stash weapons on the right side of our stash wall. All right, my bearings has been uh, about a month and a half or something since I uh, played this game, so. Going to um, get the momentum going here. Uh, let's see. So what I'm gonna wanna do is First, I'm going to change this up. I think I'm going to use a melee weapon here. Oh, we forgot to. I got this gift for Pan Am. I still haven't given that to her yet. Oh, uh, we'll use that. And we're going to craft. Um, I think I've acquired all the. Got the Melorian. And I ha think I have all the. Uh, I got. I, I kept Skippy. So I got all the weapons on the on the left and the center of the stash wall at the apartment and the right side of the stash wall those are all weapons that you have to craft and so as we go I'm gonna I mean, this is gonna be probably about six more episodes um, that'll take us up to 60 episodes and so it'll be about another 10 hours of gameplay 10 to 12 hours of gameplay 
Uh, we're just going to be engaging in a lot, all, like I said, all the missions and everything's done. All the gigs, all the hustles, we're just going to go through and we're going to just sweep through the freaking different uh, districts and engage in combat and random encounters with the, like this, what's going on right here with the, uh, the police are engaging in combat with the gangs. We're going to uh, engage in combat with the gangs and I'm going to, um, so I'm going to want to acquire... Uh, I'll probably be do, breaking down a lot of like the the weapons. I usually sell the weapons, but for this, I'm gonna I'm because I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of crafting. I got my crafting specced up to uh, so I can craft legendary. And so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna uh, do this combat area right here. And then we're gonna go at, to Adam Smasher's uh, at the Urbanica. Go to that the compartment and get those weapons. And there's a one wep one of those weapons in there. I think it's a shotgun that that goes on the stash wall. And so we're gonna uh, be crafting those weapons while we're engaging, in and we're gonna be collecting the materials to craft all those weapons. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to do that in 10 to 12 hours. Well, my probably like will increase our uh, upgrade our um, skills and stuff too as we our attributes or not the attributes but the skills. All right, back to uh, I want to change up these weapons. I've been using these weapons for. Let's want to change up the weapons while we're here uh, for this playthrough. Um, Carnage. Plus, um, going to craft those. Uh, there's a there's a couple of those weapons I've crafted in previous playthroughs. Um, that go on the stash wall on the right s side of the stash wall in the apartment. But I've only used a couple. There's a there's so there's like seven weapons that I've never even used. That you can there's like different types of shotguns. Um, that you can craft that I have never even used. So for this play, so this 10 to 12 hours uh, of this playthrough, I'll be crafting those weapons and you getting proficient at those. And then I'll for my seventh playthrough, I'll be using those weapons. I'll craft them as I uh, as I go through the playthrough, and so that I'll be using those weapons. Uh, so this is just an opportunity to get more proficient at utilize, utilizing some different weapons that I haven't used before. And uh, this is like, I'm over like 870 hours of playthrough in this game. This is my sixth playthrough. Like I said, we're playing a very hard difficulty Watch level. Out. And so, uh, let's go. No talking. Too fast for you. Sit down. <laughs> get get replaying with the. Uh, it's been over a month, like I said. I haven't played any other games. This is the only game that I played all year, all uh, last year. Started in February, and I just been like taking care of other business and stuff, so I haven't been playing. I was hoping that um, they would update. That they would update the game um, by the end of last year, but of course everyone knows that they uh, that 1.5 update isn't happening until um, You don't mind if I grab this squad car? Uh, I'm gonna go. I got lots of time to go fight. We need that bulletproof uh, windshield with the grating on it. It's 2077. You can't get a bulletproof uh, windshield without having this grating on it, so I can see where I'm going. All right, let's go to the Abanica. If I remember correctly, that's. 
this is the emission marker to take the skippy back to Regina but since we're not going to do that that's that's just always going to be on the, the map if you don't take it back to um, Regina and the Ebonica is over here let's go get the Plus, I might um, upgrade some cyberware. Got all the vehicle. I purchased all the vehicles. It feels good to be playing this game again. This is amazing. Just such an immersive um, experience. Okay, remember my. Uh, Game configuration is the way I play computer games. I play it with the gamepad in the left hand, and that's for my movement, the stick, and then I got like action buttons like jump and crouch on the, the bumper. Um, and then I got the four, bu four, four buttons for configurating the. Um, Where's the, uh, don't we have any, um, radio dispatch? Don't tell me the audio's glitched. and all the button configurations. And then I have on the right, then I got an X EVGA X17. 10 programmable buttons. So I got sprint on the right, right mouse button. Of course, action button. Left button. And then I got like, throw grenades on the middle mouse button. Look out! And, um, some reason I don't remember all right there are some buttons that I got configured on the keyboard because there's way too many buttons to configure on just to, uh, even though I got 10 on the 10 buttons on the, uh, the mouse and then the uh, four configurable plus the movement on the gamepad but I still have to like there's still some buttons like for my for call vehicles that's um, I got to set it as a uh, um, Five on the uh, keyboard. Watch where you're going. Stop squatting. Go over to my house. Go over to my apartment, honey. Gonna let you in my house. I don't even know you. Yet. got smashed by the greatest legendary mercenary of Night City. Time to go collect our rewards because he, he won't be needing those anymore. I think there's something, wonder if there's something with my audio. Sometimes, I don't know if this is just, Sometimes the radio doesn't seem to be as loud as at other times it's like the loudest level of Maybe it's because I'm in a more time or center or not.
Yeah, hopefully that 1.5 patch, the uh, update they put out, fixes the most of this stuff in here because I'm not like. For my 7th playthrough, I don't want to have like the levitating vehicles with the 1.2 patch put in there. Levitating vehicles, you can pick in uh, some other glitches that weren't in there before. So hopefully we get that up there stuff so that I get the experience. Now I just playing it, but for the audience to be watching it so that you don't have to, you know, be subject to, uh... We lost Atrocious amounts of, uh, good What's going on here? What are you hanging out over there for? You're supposed to be at my place. Mega Building H10, honey. Just swing over there. See you later. Anything illegal? Go There's no illegal stuff going on over here, is there? Combat. I was seeing somewhere uh, online that when that when backup gets there, that if you get on a vehicle and drive away, they'll actually chase you. Let's see if that's actually works. Where if you gotta be on a no? You don't have to be in a vehicle. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you gotta wait till backup shows up. Maybe backup only shows up the first time? What is it? Maybe that's only the maybe only the first time that you play that to really show up. Or clear that area. I can't remember where it's at. That's... Is it the boat over here though? What? Oh, also I found out... Um, through that... 
Paul was doing a, a stream and talking to one of the uh, other, um, the, other the game designers and they were um, talking about how um, things change up after you like like a lot of times you know like with vendors and stuff showing up the, when, when you create areas and stuff and I guess that mall after you do that mall mission I guess scavengers go in there after the animal, after you complete that, like net watches, uh, you know, the, the gameplay, um, the, um, after you complete that story mission, the, um, they, uh, the scavengers go in there and take over that mall, so we're gonna, we're gonna go over there too, we'll actually, we'll go over there right after this. So, you know, I'm going to have to um, go over here. Yeah, we won't be needing that, huh? My seventh playthrough, I'll be, I'm going to be a really thorough like, in terms of reading shards and stuff. Alright, let's get this stuff. There's the crafting, one of the crafting specs for the, um, uh, for one of the crafted weapons for the, our stash wall. So we'll, like that. I don't know for it being like I don't know. It's like it's cool that there's that there this room is even in here that you can access this. But I don't know the one that going craft is like I don't know. Maybe there should be even just like like those weapons like some of the epic and even uncommon. But Alright, see this is gonna this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna have to engage in a lot of combat. And I'm gonna have to um, instead of sell I usually sell the firearms to you know get the money and purchase cyberware and vehicles. But I'm gonna have to um, break down, I'm gonna have to get these I'm gonna have to get components. So it might take me should be able to get enough components to craft. I got like seven or eight. I don't think I've crafted any of those on that wall. There's like nine of them. So it might take all right, let's see here. Did you get um crafting component things at vendors? I think you can purchase aren't there crafting specs for crafting components I'm still learning the crafting system in this game I, I, I've only used it a few times and I've used it um, somewhat for about 10 or 20 hours in this playthrough but
epic, epic components. I need to go clean up my stash. Uh, guess I could do it right from here, right? I don't need to. Well, actually, I do have stuff in my stash that I have. Let's see if I got any. Probably going to end up um, disassembling the uh, legendary stuff that I don't need either because, like, to craft these weapons, probably going to need that, but I'll do that later. Disassemble everything, huh? We got any, um, pepper grenade, any purseless. I'm not gonna need these. How many you get? Let's check it out. Only two, it's one for each. I got, uh, um, I got uh, all my legendary mods for my uh, operating system, except I never got a legendary cyber psychosis. All right, let's make our way to the mall. Let's go to Pacifica, engage in some combat over there.
Oh, this is... Me a script, maybe some ginseng or shrooms. You do not need mushroom or herb, only the reunification of self uh -huh. to be free of the demon never leaving. A cigarette? Uh, yeah, uh huh. Where sure. ever heard that before? <laughs> you know a lot about herbs, right? All right, here we are. We're gonna purchase some components. Here's what we need. Epic. How many can we purchase? Take all those. All those. Crafting components uncommon. Kidding. So I got about 130. I got plenty of money to purchase crafting components. I'm gonna need some. I wonder if there's, I wonder if any, I wonder where the specs are, I wonder if there's, might as well get these while I'm here. This is carry capacity, yeah, I'm going to need some of those, so I don't want to be having to get in, want to keep going and momentum with the combat. Stop by the my apartment. Stop by the apartment on the way over there too. So I do have a couple items to put on the stash wall. A couple of firearms, a skippy, and that other ginseng or whatever that is. Thanks. Quit smoking cigarettes. You're supposed to be, uh... Helping out this temporary sanitary, right here. You want to smoke cigarettes, maybe you should go somewhere else. Let's, uh, let's go to the apartment. Actually, you know, we're over here. Cyberpunk uh, 2077 was nominated for the music soundtrack of, game of the year, and of course, we all know that the soundtrack for this game is absolutely amazing, you should have won that, but of course it did. And uh, I think it was like for RPG, even though this isn't RPG focus, it's a first, more of a first person shooter than an RPG, but and of course they didn't win that, mainly because should have got game of the year actually. But some 
a 20 hour game with like four different maps that you go over and over again. You took it because yeah, it was supposed to be the game of the year because, you know, rigged awards. Anyway. So yeah, a puzzle, a puzzle game, a uh, first-person shooter game that you can uh, finish in like 20 hours uh, with like four maps that you go through a day and a night cycle over and over again, completing the same, going through the same areas for like 20 hours. Um, it's supposedly a better game than Cyberpunk 2077 with like, like um, and I went through fast with uh, like a hundred. 110, depending upon how fast you play it, anywhere from 110 to 200 hours of, of gameplay in one playthrough. Yeah. So go figure, right? Oh, there's a shotgun there. What? what? Is that this? I wonder if that's no, what there I am missing a a shotgun on there. What one is that? I did all the quests. What the Alright, let's I gotta use the vehicle to do this, right? I use that a lot for my for the this uh, so I'll use a different sidearm for a while. Where is that? What shotgun is that? Oh, there's wait, there's eight. I bet there was nine on each. Eight there and.
this guy in a while? Oh, there's another one down there. Yeah, there is nine. I didn't see that for the shotgun down there. All right. All right. So I want to actually use this. I'll use this, uh, wait, what did I just, how oh, there's so many weapons, isn't this what I just, it's a smart, I thought it was a power weapon that I just, To go get my go to uh, get smart link cyberware. I got the power equipped right now. Power cyberware. Deals additional electrical damage with a small chance of pi EMP on impact. Cool. Gone though. I don't. Some of these are legendary. I don't know if all these go on the wall though. Let me see here. Nope. 
So I just crafted that. I didn't think I needed to do that. understand what shotgun that is for uh, those are like quest related um the center weapons on the stash wall those are like quest related i got i complete all the quests a I happy know. new gun owner i hope Oh, well, the crafting system is really, it just, again, there's so much stuff to in craft. Like, this is the kind of where uh, I'm pacing myself here. I usually don't spend this much time in these, like, there's probably no, uh, I probably lost my audience about 30 minutes ago for this episode.
Yeah, I want just now. I don't know if this is one of the um, items that, for the, um, but I want to. Um, that's I, I'm using that. Learning the crafting system. Yeah, this this is what one of the reasons I'm I'm uh, playing it, other than the fact that I wanted to play it again, but I'm waiting for the update. But this will get me, I'll be more proficient at using the crafting and system and everything um, for my next playthrough. Wait, I wonder if that's one of the. Um, Again, is it up here now? Is it where is it? Should be, I should be able to upgrade it. To Wait, that was it. Was that at the rare? Oh, this is. The Cost of crafting items by 50%. I think we'll agree to that. Craft the weapons, they'll 5% more damage. Maybe I not. Maybe I won't use that power weapon or that 
smart weapon now that I got this one upgraded. Check that shotgun out. I know I got it. I want to upgrade this to legendary. Oh, here we go. Oh, you gotta put it in. You gotta equip it? I thought you just had to have it in your end. Cool. Yeah, I didn't start. I never really used my first five. Uh, my first five playthroughs, I really didn't use the Michelle machine guns that much. Um, but my last playthrough, I started using some machine guns. They're pretty because like, they got a really fast fire rate. But I, I'm so like, I'm still. There's, there's so many weapons in this game that I, 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 I haven't really used because I just use like a lot of. So now I gotta re. Oh wait, it doesn't keep the, all right, or does it put the mods back in the, I think it just re put the weapon mods back on the, I think the attack looks like the attacks per second went down though. But again, that's thermal damage, crit chance, crit damage, almost 100%. Burn chance, almost 20%. Deals thermal damage with increased chance to apply burn. Reduces bullet speed, and spread increases bullet impact at the cost of higher recoil. There's a certain type of shotguns too. This is one, I think. And that, I think these are the two. This is a double barrel, and this is the power shotgun. Oh, yeah, the headsman. Definitely. I've never, all the hours I've played this game, I've never used either of these weapons because the only time, only way you can get access to these weapons on the, like, is you gotta craft these weapons. Well, I'll go double barrel to Sovereign. Cool. Oh. Need some type of components. You could have done this uh, uh, while not recording. You could have had all this taken care of. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna go see, watch, go through the process. It's a learning experience. Can you put these on your wall when they're, do they have to be upgraded to legendary? Nope. Oh, that's cool. So I want to use that, see what that's like. Look 
go. Um, I changed my mind. I'm not going to use that right now. And I probably have used that with plate, but I'm not going to probably be using that for the rest of the, for this extra plate, extra. Look at the damage on that. What the? 15. Look at it. It would have been great to have this stuff. Like now that I know about this, uh, maybe I'll maybe put some points into crafting uh, at the start of my seventh playthrough so I can have all these legendary, iconic uh, weapons again for the actual, for during the story missions and the gigs and hustles. chance crit damage plus 214 thermal damage four to 1460 soon I'll be unstoppable Still don't understand what weapon that is. Why I don't have that? These are all. S Did I not pick up a weapon or something during a story mission? Where's the, where's the remote control so I can turn up the loud and so I can actually hear what's going on? So I can actually hear the. Hey, Julian Jordan. Hey, why aren't you at my place? What are you doing on the. Be in my place. <laughs> well, well, well. What's the item we got from? Uh... Let's go kill some scumbags. Go to the mall, maybe catch a movie, yeah. Go see uh, 
Hey John, is uh, John Wick Chapter 4 out yet? Maybe no? A custom map marker placed by you. The radio station is for music. Oh, you did that on purpose? I saw you just freaking gun the gas pedal right and freaking slam right into me. Up. I should shoot you. The radio station is for listening to the music. Second one. They're trying to make citizens of us. You learn how to drive. Only I get to drive around that city with not a care in the world. You gotta pay attention to the rules of the road. Yeah, you wouldn't want to give game of the year. Uh, you wouldn't want to give game of the year to a game that just costs base price and of, uh, of like sixty dollars, and you can now get it on like half price for like under thirty dollars for a game that you can like one playthrough can take from 110 to one hundred twenty hours without any other uh, transactions to uh, get weapons or something like that. You, why would you want to do something like that, right? Lights out! Maybe you shouldn't have been a scumbag. You filthy scumbag. Whoa, whoa. Get out of crap with your buddy. Get out of crap with your buddy. What's your shot? You tried to hit me! What are you doing, bro? Don't be throwing a grenade at me. Ah. What did you say? Don't 
I got my legendary submachine gun. What do you think this is? New game plus mode? How are you doing that much damage to me so fast? Yeah, that's right. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> hey, you need a glass of water? You're on fire! <laughs> I need that epic firearm. I need the crafting components. You must let me. You must let me pick this up. As your hands, you let me pick this up. Go to my place, hang out with somebody in class. Something going on. All right, this looks like illegal activity. Why are you levitating vehicles around the city? You need a glass of water? Yeah, you need to be start. You need to speak English in my country. This is America, bro. You're not in uh, Russia right now, all right? I gotta teach you a lesson or what? Don't shoot sniper rifles at me like that, Austin. I shoot sniper rifles. A little overdoing it, right? Y'all need to clean this this dump up. This is disgusting. Mountains of trash everywhere. You need something taken away from you? 
take care of that. All right. Let's see, uh, I think I'll go do some shopping at the mall. Enough components for uh, nope. Crit chance, crit damage doubles the number of projectiles per shot and increases the chance for discern or bleeding, increases spread, reduces horizon, reduces rate of fire, and reduces clip capacity compared to the base version of the gun. Reduces rate of fire and reduces clip capacity compared to the base. For, oh, because it's so powerful, it reduces any components. Yeah, if you like engaging in, uh, there's like gang combat besides the missions. There's just like gangs all over, you know, different factions all over the city. But Pacifica, because there's no like the police don't patrol, so there's a real, there's a there's even there's a lot of gang combat out here in Pacifica. those wait wait why doesn't it go to where I can why can't I disassemble those Is it just a glitch after you... Whatever. Where's the um, nearest vendor around here? There not be any illegal activity going on in there.
Uh-huh, just what I thought. Life's worth living, you really don't need to be. Cyberware kicking. Uh, they're all over the place again. They know, realize that there was, there was like again, twice as many enemies as I. Thought. What? Where? There's just combat areas all over this, but this is like not part of the, any of the missions. It's like the only way you find this stuff is like it's exploring. Cyber Psycho, uh, I, I'm the one that can mess with him. up on that.
All right, who put this razor wire here? You have to be under us for that. Then I have to rest you for putting razor wire all over the place over here. You know, you have any idea how much my clothing costs? I got legendary clothing. You ruined my legendary clothing with your damn razor wire. Coming down with anything, are you? Didn't know the Voodoo Boys were arms dealers. I don't belong to Voodoo Boys. Not anymore. Yeah, you belong to me now, honey. I don't belong to Voodoo Boys. Not anymore. It's an ambush. Hey, what you see? I'm trying to purchase some stuff. Hey, what do you see? Of all the nerves. Is there a cop? Are acting like an asshole? Oh. You just couldn't mind your own business. Take care of your wellness. You won't have such a messed up attitude. Alright, where were we, honey? Why is it? What's the deal? Another glitch? Excuse you. Yeah, you're excused, asshole. Anybody home? Like illegal activity going on in there? Hey, there's a party going on in there? You didn't invite me? Fucking asshole.
Yeah, any epic components in here, bro? People like you always got something to sell. So how we do? What martial arts do you specialize in? <laughs> martial arts, please. Breaking faces isn't an art. Whoever fucks up the other one wins. I wave them. Just wondering what you've got on hand. If you have no epic components, I'm gonna have to kick your, uh, kill you, dumbass. You know that, right? What was that? What did I just say? What, twice as much as DPS as the one that I got? What the, what's going on here? Y'all just standing around doing a bunch of nothing? You won't be needing that money anymore. That's the protection money to make sure that the scumbags, that I protect you from the scumbags. Thirsty. Still killing scumbags makes you thirsty. <laughs> So where'd that go? Let's see if I can get back in that. Let's go in that gun shop. I don't know why it's so strong. Fucking cowards! <laughs> hiding like a child! Yeah, cowards everywhere around here. Are there anywhere around anywhere, anywhere around here that I can kill them? Any cowards I can kill? Trying to kill me. Live like a suicide. You got so much to live for, bro. Hey, wait a minute. No, you don't. Not no more. You trying to kill me? You got nothing to live for. You like that? Don't even go for that booster. I love trees. Use them for cover. My friend, the trees. It's better to burn out than to fail. Oh. I don't think so. Hey! We run to you trying to take cover behind that. Yeah, all the armor I got. I wonder if they Upgrade my kid. I've been doing freaking damage to kids. Jump in the fire, yeah. New iron. You're gonna need some new security you guards. You choose. Huh? Ooh, legendary upgrade components. Take all those. Yeah, and I, you know, I didn't realize that, that there's, 
different components for upgrades and different components for crafting. I never even realized that. You would think I would know. Like, is there enough systems and enough stuff in here? I didn't want... What, what was that? I didn't want that. So, All right, thanks. I should have enough acrophones to at least upgrade one of these. I think the Sovereign but uh, headsman, I'm gonna upgrade that to legendary. Kick. It. Oh, I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of that. Oh, I should be able to craft bo both of these. Cool. Cool. Wow. And the sovereign crit chance reduces reload time and bullet spread. Fires two rounds per shot while aim while aiming. The level of detail and uh, just the different upgrade, like even having all these weapons you can craft with all these different types of stats and different upgrades, it's just the the level of detail in this game that you are you will never even. I've been playing this game for almost 900 hours and paying attention there's so many details and upgrades and things you can and systems in this game that I mean seriously when this game initially came out and they were and uh, rev so-called reviewers were reviewing this game after 10 to 20 hours of gameplay or playing at uh, reviewing uh, the game after playing through just like the main story and then is does not I don't think that qualifies you to review this game. I'm serious. I said this before in my previous playthrough that I recorded too. I mean you have to I mean uh 
21 kiloton one of the best probably one of the, probably the best reviewer online reviewing and playing games and commentate commentary talks the truth gives his own objective I don't agree with everything that he talks that he says in terms of games and he's like he, sometimes he likes different things about games and whatever but I'm telling you he played this game for like 200 over 200 hours before he gave a review he that's qualified to give a review uh, but just this it's, it's amazing how much stuff you can do in this game Uh, oh, I got a bunch of legendary upgrade components, too. Where was the, um... Wait, where's the Sovereign? Wait, did I not upgrade the, um... Wait, did it not upgrade? Did I just spend it, but it didn't upgrade because I didn't have it upgraded? Huh. No, no, I got two of them. <laughs> Does these get different stats? Wait, where's the... What's going on here? Cool, I think I got to work with that skull. Increases headshot damage. Yeah, let's put it on that. Oh, all my stuff bumped up. How did that... Oh, I must have, uh, like, uh, increased my crafting ability. I must have... My crafting skill one up. must have increased the, um... Is that how these, are, uh, the... Weapon mods level up? Through your... Depending upon how much your crafting ability is?
All right, anybody want to get a uh, kill with my new, uh, my new legendary iconic shotgun? Bags around here. What's going on? You ain't doing any illegal activity, are you? by the fire, huh? Having fun? You know, criminals around here. Are there? Think, uh, of course. Yeah, all right, bro. You ain't come down that way. You need to be hanging out with people when you got. Oh. You don't run in front of somebody with a fucking fire shotgun. Wait! I just took out the with one shot. Nice. Crit damage. on deep inside you.
Looking to get chipped. Oh, cool. There's an upgrade. 25,000. And some restores 6 health after defeating enemy. 3%. Alright. Why not? Spend, spend, spend. Crafting spec for the mono wire. Mono wire is the mono wire is actually a pretty cool weapon to use. I use it on my fifth playthrough, the one that I recorded before this. I use that. I use that for a few hours. This is a different type of. I think I. Okay, increased combat, core attacks. Operation. Man, the cover by 90 units per second. That was uh, good. We got a uh, six percent health increase instead of uh, doubled up over the three percent that I had it before. Nice, bro. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Whatever. How you doing? You know, right? You come over to my place for dinner tonight, or what? You feeling all right? You mentally stable? You uh. All right. Well, I'll be seeing you. What the? Well, little boy, I give hey, up. Uh, I didn't think it was my game. Hey, I was just gonna help you out. I was gonna give you a hug. I was gonna attack me. I thought you looked like you needed some love, and I was gonna give you a hug. Maybe you calm me down a little bit, that but get violent. <laughs> I wonder if they changed the cycle of it. The, these are spawned already again? Yeah, this game would be fun if there was like actually something to do in it. I mean, it's got a great story, main story, and everything, and it's pretty immersive and everything. But then you got the side, the side quests, side story quests. You got the. They just. And then gigs and hustles. There's nothing to do in this game, right? It's just like you want to walk around. And it's a great looking city and everything, but there's like really nothing to do. In it. What did you do? He has some respect. You were saying? Nothing.
I think like the area is like I usually like when I'm, when I'm playing the story quest and I'm playing all the gigs and also like when I'm playing the game and I got like mission markers and missions to complete. I like I'll just like go to an area I won't like usually like loop around like I just did like that. But I think maybe they might respawn um, faster out here in Pacifica. over here. Three more assholes from back here. I clean this area out. Gotta get the uh, amusement park open so the children can have some fun again. Assholes. Really and everything. I go in this one, there's a if I these garage doors open, I wonder if I forgot to do that. To like the combat's been uh, unbelievable in this game. There's just so much content. Um, but if you like to explore in, in, in open map games like this, there's just you. Anybody home? Yeah, and I like how you can even you, you can keep like your a acti activity uh, upgrades. You can keep even after you've uh, leveled out your um, attributes and your street cred, and you but you can still upgrade all of these um, after you've completed the, all the game. And like I, right now, like I've completed all the quests and gigs and hustles, but you can still. Um, uh, do these up to these are, I think all these go up to 20 so I mean you can just like level up all these and in and, and each tree it's like 10 I still got I got 10 more of upgrades there I still got 12 there 12 there 11 there 11 there I could just keep on that is so cool that you can keep acquiring perks plus you can find perks out in the map like at the treasure areas, you can find, I'm pretty sure you find perks and like um, treasure chests and stuff. stock with a silver barrel. That's freaking badass. It's a badass weapon skin. 
You who I was making just kind of through here after I, uh, animals in the net watch getting left. I just want to make sure this area hasn't been like reinvaded by scumbags or nothing. Oh, I remember I couldn't freaking get through here last time because the net watch had shut me down I, and I didn't get this last time I was through here. So, God, there's just so much stuff to do in this game. Even these uh, mini games, they just keep you like, you keep you on, you're told, you just keep you like engaged in activities and like mental fitness. Attention. I was thinking about this, how uh, about getting made in this game? Is like, you're just. What's that? Somebody. Hey, uh, the mall is. We're, um, I need some new legendary shoes, maybe. It's uh. Scavengers here. Look at this. Oh shit, at first I didn't see them. I'm like, the fire where it go wait did I not put mods on it I had this modded didn't I oh no I never I was crafting mods but I crafted the mods but I never I don't think I've ever 
received a key pose. No T posing in my game. No T posing when I'm playing this game. Don't do that. Oh, we got restocked and um, more weapons around here too. Stop it. Like my legendary sniper rifle. Come on, man. Game over. man game over for you oh, I'm just getting yeah. started I wanna be your friend I do you do you wanna be my friend then why are you trying to kill me with the fire bomb Break time. I wonder if, like, after you play that, I wonder if, like, they got, like, I wonder if there's any areas where, like, stuff opens up. After you 
complete like main quest and stuff. in the morning is all overcast.
Fucking talking assholes, huh? You ready to get a piece of something to use or what? Make a building eight cent, honey. What's with the fucking vendors? Make a building next time. Thanks, man. See you there. Bring your silky sweetness on over to my place. I can build an H10. Serious now. Don't miss out on some the best loving of your life. I'm 
go with the optics or what? Can't see what's going on now or? We're bombed! Beat you to a pump! <laughs> Come on, let's go. You like my car moves? Good timing, huh? Can you band-aid for that? Please? Fire! Fire! However, bro, I'm out here uh, fighting criminals. You need to know who the enemy is, bro. Can't you go in there? Is that all? No, that's so. Looks like it.
All right, well, on this episode here, hope you had fun watching this, enjoyed this uh, portion of the playthrough. Keep fighting the good fight. Peace.